Welcome to Changing the Narrative with Red. Stace is coming. <laughs> uh, thank y'all so much for waiting. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting us throughout this whole journey. Um, we had a little bit of technical issues and other stuff. So we thank y'all so much for, for being patient and hanging on. Um, we really appreciate you. So thank you. Um, so we are in Tanzania right now, specifically Dar es Salaam. And um, we're on day five of our trip. And we just want to share with y'all our initial impressions, um, what we've done so far, um, experiences that we had so far, um, and just, you know, share with you what's going on. So uh, we've got 12 people in the building. So I should see 12 thumbs up. So make sure y'all hit that like button if you're watching. Um, if you can hear my voice, hit that like button. It is free. Um, and you're automatically going to become a premium member. Automatically. You know, our love is just going to come pouring through the computer or through your phone. And we can see you in the mirror. <laughs> Say hi to the people, Stace. Hello. <laughs> um, our love is just going to come pouring through the screen the minute that you hit that like button. So don't forget. Which way am I sitting? You're gonna you're gonna sit here, right? There we go. Oh, set on the drone. Uh-oh. No, so book set. What's up, everybody? Sorry for the delay. We had some technical difficulties. Sorry, Polo. Sorry the wait was so long. Great. You just, you, you, y'all just let y'all guys know that we don't have our typical setup because uh, we didn't bring our laptop. So, Red, yeah. you got to do the comments through your phone. We can do this. Okay. You can? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't see. think you should, but whatever. Uh -huh. So, first Shay, thing is... Wait, hold up. Shay says, greetings from the London family. Wayne says, good evening, cuz. Ready and waiting. Thank you so much for What's your up? patience. What's up, cuzzo, cuzzo? Claudia loves his high family. Hello, Claudia. Thank you for tuning in again. We appreciate you. Yo, let's get to Hello, the meat and potatoes, thank man. You, thank you, thank you. All right, we got a couple people asking, how was it? And Habari, Sandra. Thank you, Habari. <laughs> Listen to you, Sandra. You did your research. Yes. Asante for everybody tuning in. We appreciate it. All right, so this is going to be very, very interesting, y'all. I don't think we should typically do like what everybody else normally does, like comparison between Joe Berg and, and uh, Dar, because everybody, every every place has its own special flavor, flavor vibes. So we're not going to do comparing Joe Berg to Dar, but Joe Berg would definitely win, but we're not going to compare the two. But you, so, but you were gonna say that and say we're not let's gonna go, compare. Let's go to the topics that we got. What's up, Lucky? Let's so, start. um, I think we can start like, what was what was your impression of the first, um, the Airbnb that we stayed in? Oh wow, the first Airbnb we stayed in was awesome. Um, yeah, I posted a video about uh. Of walk of uh, us walking in, yeah, walk through, yeah, and I walk through, and the, the, the it was a, it was amazing. Yeah, if y'all didn't have it, haven't had a chance to see that, check it out after this video. But yeah, it was like it was beautiful. It was big, like it's bigger than our house in in Joburg. Yes, and it was only ninety dollars a night. Like, what's, was, what's that in uh in Chile? Uh, no, in in in, in Rams. I you should be more prepared. That's what it sounds like. You should be more. It prepared. sounds like you should be more prepared. You should have known. How about that? So anyway, um, <laughs> so it was beautiful. Three bedrooms. We didn't need three bedrooms. Actually, we need. We need. We did need three bedrooms. <laughs> yeah, we did. Cause I put, I kicked her out the bedroom, <laughs> and she slept in the other bedroom. <laughs> I was just tired of her farting. The advertisement <laughs> said that it was a king size bed in the master bedroom, but it was really like a full size bed in each bedroom. And so 
Stacy had got in the bed the first night and like it was kind of hot in the room that he was sleeping in. No, that's not what happened. That's not you, you were started stretched farting. out. No, you were stretched out across the bed when I came upstairs. So I went in the other room. I was like, shoot, I'm not even ready to go to sleep yet. I don't want to disturb you. And that's where it started. So we slept in two different rooms. I love the two. I love it too. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing so, wrong with that. I still love you. So what happened was, <laughs> what happened was, um, uh, when Red picked the hope the, the Airbnb, she said to herself, "Well, this is a very beautiful, beautiful Airbnb," and she just assumed. Uh, but wait, and it was also next to a casino, and there's a whole bunch of like restaurants and stuff around. So I was like, "Okay, this is probably a really, really, you know." I'm thinking like Rosebank type of area. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. like Monte Casino or something like that. That's what I'm thinking that it's going to look like. It was different. It was like a CBD Johannesburg vibe. Yeah. Where we was at. So we got up one of the days and we had to go to the store. And on our way to the store, it was really, really crowded. It was really, really congested. Well, I guess that means the same thing. Um... We didn't expect what we saw, mm -hmm. you know. It was, it was, it was bikes and poas and uh, people. Tell them what poas is. And cars, like poas are like uh, it's kind of like a golf cart, but like a little bit smaller. And, and, it, three, it three, and three wheels. Yeah, it was all of that on the road at the same time. It was like honking and beeping. Everybody trying to move in the same direction and get out of people's way. It was just motorcycles. Yeah, it, motorcycles. You know, listen, when I tell you, when I tell you. It was not safe to walk because you might get hit by a car, a motorcycle. A, it was really, really congested. Nobody was going to get hit. Everybody sees what's going on, and they're maneuvering accordingly. They beep in their horn to let you know they're coming up. So let me tell y'all what happened. So let me tell y'all what happened. And y'all better not laugh because I'm going to laugh. So y'all don't laugh. So uh, on, on our way of walking to the store, this is a true story, and it's really funny, too. On our way of walking to the store, we saw this one guy pushing a guy in a, in a wheelchair. So they were just having a good old time pushing each. The one guy was pushing the other guy in a the wheelchair. They didn't see us when we walked to the store. So on our way coming back home, they saw us. So the guy in the wheelchair, he wanted to act like uh, 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 kicking his hands out and acting like something was really, really wrong with him. And then the other guy was like, And the other guy was like, uh, 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 uh. and they was just, they was just, they chilling. was putting on a show, when but they didn't do any of that when we walked by them. So it was, it was a lot. Like, it was a lot. It was chaos. <laughs> like, getting to that mall was chaotic. Like I've never experienced anything like that in my life. And I wouldn't feel it was bad. And it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't feel like, you know, it was anything dangerous about it or anything like that. There was no point where I felt like unsafe. No, not at all. It was just like chaos. And it's just like, like, it's so much going on. But, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's just different. It's just different. Uh, I think Red said it had, it gave her like the, uh, what's the country you said? Like India, India, like India, me. India vibes. Yeah, like I've not, I haven't been there, but like just what you see, like the really congested streets and stuff like that. Like it just was a, something I had never experienced before. You know, I've yeah. seen it, but I've never experienced, and it's a it's a lot. It's so really y'all, just to keep it hundred with y'all, yes, Red had us in the hood for the first. It wasn't the hood. Red had us in the hood for the first three days. It yes. Wasn't. Wasn't she had us in the hood for three days? They don't have pen markets in and now we're in the suburbs. There are in the hood. And um, we're doing a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> so we were saying the city center the uh, the first three days. Yeah, someone asked. So yeah, tell them exactly the P something towers. Uh, PSPF uh, towers. Where we yeah, someone asked that in the chats. So, um, like I said, really nice. It's really, really nice. Very, very nice. But, you know, it's just like you might expect it to be um, more luxurious because they have really nice penthouses there. And there's a really nice casino literally across right the across the street. But you would never know that the casino was there 
until you see the sign once you get right in front of it. Yeah, and the food was really good. The food was good. The service was service good. Service was really, really good. Yeah, and then I'm gonna I have a video on my phone. I'm gonna post. Like it was really beautiful on the inside too. Really yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it really was. Yeah. So it, really um, it was it was really nice, but you just wouldn't have known that it was there. Um, otherwise, it just you know, it's just. You expect it. You just have certain expectations, and it was just different. You know what I'm saying? Nothing bad, just different. Just different. Yeah. Um. Let's check out the comments. It seems like it's a lot of people. Woo. It ain't that many. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's you already lot. did most of them. It's a lot. Um. Lucky see. was the last one, I believe. Let's see. Clannis says, "Did not fly from the airport to my place, so I don't miss the live." Good evening, dear friends. <laughs> Good afternoon. What's up, Clannis? Wow, thank you so much. We appreciate it. My brother Thingo. Thingo says, hey, oh, family, the scolding between states and real is evident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grant says, sup, fam. Shout out to the FSB family. Thank you, thank you. Um, Speedway says, hello, hello, hello. Uh, Claudia asks, are we good to going to Zanzibar too. Not this time. Logistically speaking, we just were like, we'll do, we'll fly directly into Zanzibar next time and we'll just do Zanzibar, Zanzibar when we come back next time. Uh, Mo says, greetings fam. Greetings. Eric. <laughs> Eric, he says, too many Caucasians in Joburg though. Um, what can you do about that though? And we will say, that we seen, we didn't see. I think we saw two white people. We saw one white lady down at the pool a few minutes ago. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah a few yeah. hours ago. Yeah, yeah. And then I think we saw like one white man. You didn't see somewhere when we were walking. You didn't see too many white folks here. Yeah. Um, we saw a couple of uh, quite a few Asian people when we mm -hmm. were staying in city center. We haven't seen any yet any, here. We seen some Muslim folks. Um, but, we're in we're in we're uh, Masaki. We're in Misaki right now. Um, we haven't really seen any um, any white people. All we've seen is black people. Yes. So and that's looking for always, a black experience. And that's always a positive. Yeah. If you're looking for a black experience, I mean, I feel like. Okay. I feel like Tanzania is where you're gonna get it. We have you got. We have guys like that. that in Durban. On the robots, always asking for money. There you go. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you, man, these guys put on a show. Oh, my God. They really did. They, they put were on really a show. showing out. They put on a show. Yeah, they were really, really showing out. And the stares and the looks. Oh, my God. It was yeah. like, Joe Berg, I'm going to say nothing ever again about the stares and the looks. These stares <laughs> and looks, they was looking through us. Not through us, like x-ray vision. X-ray vision? X-ray vision. <laughs> Not like through us, like they couldn't see us, but like x-ray vision, like they were trying to examine our being you know in joe berg it's like a polite stare yeah versus like a like unapologetic like stare down and it wasn't like intimidating it was just very specific curiosity yeah you know like very specific curiosity. and, you know, and i always thought it was because of me because of how tall i am no 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 it was different yeah anyway next one exactly. next one up um, so the stores here, and we've heard this before we came, but yeah. there's, there's really not a lot of like retail oh. stores. Like a lot of the places that you go to are, um, like just little mom and pop shops and there's no prices on anything and you have to negotiate, especially if you're buying like knickknacks or baskets or, you know, t-shirts, shirts. all that kind of stuff. You really, you have to like know how much something is worth to you and that you, you got to know they're going to upcharge you because they know that you're a tourist. Um, so you kind of have to know how much you're willing to pay, like how much, you know, uh, 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 how much you think it's worth. And I feel like whenever you're shopping as a tourist, like you're going to get screwed a little bit. But if I get something at a price that I think it's worth, then I don't worry about it. Like, I don't think about it later on. Like, oh man, I should have tried to get it for this price. If I get it for a price that I think is is good, then I walk away from it and I'm fine. As long as they don't feel really happy when I leave, I feel like I did my job. I did the best I could. Um, <laughs> but it's just, 
constantly like knowing that you have to haggle. The only place you don't have to haggle is like if you go to like a chain grocery store and they're just not as um as many. And at least in the areas that we're in. Yeah. Um, they're not like like in, in, in Joburg, the states, like there's a store here and a store here and a store here, like that you can go to and it's a chain store, but it's just not like that here. Yeah. So yeah. we went to this one place today, it's called uh Spinway, right? No, what was it Slipway. Called? Slipway, I'm sorry. Slip, spin, same, same. And um, it was just a string of Black people selling like stuff at, in their little uh, booths. You know, it was a lot. And of course, when they saw the two Americans, everybody got up and, come here, come here, come here, American, American, come here, come here. It got live. Mm-hmm. It got really live, and mm-hmm. you know it was nice to see a lot of black people, you know, selling their selling their stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it was it was really really nice. So yeah, Red went there and spent up all the money. <laughs> she spent up all the money. I wasn't able to get anything when I walked away. You got two shirts. When I walked a, when made. I walked away. So, but y'all know something. It seems like like you in in South Africa. The 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 rand is a dot is uh eighteen dollars, and here here it's uh like twenty three hundred. So you would think, you would think um that you get more for your money. No hell no. It's like you know um. It's a little bit more expensive here. It's more expensive. Yeah, the it's, one out to eat here is more expensive. Yeah, the groceries when we would normally spend like forty dollars and. At home in Joburg, you know, we would spend seventy five dollars here. Mm-hmm. It was it was really really weird, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's expensive, and like, and I think it's probably the, just the area that the areas that we're staying in. But um, yeah, it's like even though we we live in a, a expensive area in in Joburg, and it still doesn't cost you know it doesn't cost that much. We found mayo. We found mayo though, y'all. Yeah, we did find. We find mayo, and I'm going there tomorrow. I'm buying up all the mayo they got in the whole store. It's gonna be so weird when you go through security. <laughs> they're like, "What? Are you do what do y'all? Mayonnaise? What do y'all got? Is this really mayonnaise in here? Yes, we just buying all of it because we can't find none at home in Joburg. Why did? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <future. laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to get caught up on the the comments again. All right, family. Okay. Okay. Hi, family. This is Philo, aka Stewart. Ah, oh, hey, Stewart from Josie. Greetings from Dubai. Hey, I hope you have a good Stewart, we know who you are, man. We know. <laughs> let's see. Fellow says so they call it the real Africa. Sandra says, I had a feeling that Dar might be a bit much for Stace. <laughs> I like to walk, so I don't think I could handle the dodging traffic there. Yeah, and we've, we've been doing a lot of walking. Yo, man, it's like playing dodgeball. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Stacy does not understand that yeah. people will bowl him over like a, a, a tree, like He's just walking in the street like do 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 do. People are driving by like swerving around him, beeping as they're passing. Like get out the way, like and he's not moving. I'm like Stacy, I'm going to have a heart attack. Get out of the street. And I had to tell him like if you don't if you don't stop walking in the middle of the street, I'm just gonna push you in front of a car so that I don't have to worry anymore. It's done. And I said, well, if you have a heart attack, at least I'll be rich because I'm the beneficiary. But continue on the comments, though. That's not what you said. Yeah, I did. Don't, don't, don't try to add jokes to after the fact. Try to add jokes back. Anyway, so Speedway says, yep, that, that thing of no price tags also ex- exists in Nigeria. Hilo says, how was the food at Cape Town Fish Market? It was pretty good. We got suckered into this um, Beautiful drink. really pretty looking drink. It looked like one of those gigantic margaritas that we had in the States. 
and I haven't seen a really good or had a really good margarita in I don't know how long. And it just looks so pretty and, and delicious. And it had it had the corona sticking in the glass. Yeah. The glass, the was, glass really, was gigantic. Really, like redhead. It was really, really big, like redhead. And it had a really big bottle of corona sticking in it. And we thought it was gonna be good, but it wasn't that good. No, like it would have been better without the corona. I don't know. It would have been better without the corona, because then it would have just been like a a, a really, you know, a fruity, like a uh, uh, blended drink. It didn't taste like it had no alcohol in it. None. It was gigantic, and None. it tastes like the only alcohol was the, was the beer. I feel like it could have done without the beer. Yeah. But, um, and it was really expensive. Very expensive. Never again. Yeah. But uh, the, um, hold on, but the fish and chips? Very, very good. Bang. Very, very good. Bang. Bang fish and chips. Yeah. Very good. So we would go there again. A solid sure. comment. Asad says slipway on the peninsula. Yes. Yeah, I mean that's that's what Masaki is for the peninsula the peninsula. Uh let's see. Asad said they hit you with that American tax and bring me some mayo. <laughs> Asad, I'm gonna have a whole duffy bag full of mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Ezekiel says, enjoy Tanzania, guys. It's a wonderful place you'll pleasantly enjoy, especially if you don't compare. Let me say Tanzania helped our people a lot. Our people uh, during the, the hard years of apartheid. Yeah, so, I mean, we're, tr we're, not, we're trying not to compare. That's why we're saying that it's different than what we've experienced before. But that's the reason why we're traveling, because we, we want to experience these things. And it's not, at times it does make us a little bit uncomfortable, but I mean, it's nothing wrong with being uncomfortable sometimes. It's nothing wrong with that. Um, let's see. All right. Sandra, good one right here. Good one right here. Wow. I thought it would be cheaper in Tanzania. Ashley in Africa said her cost of living went up a lot when she moved from SA to Tanzania. There you go. You know, uh, people's uh, location means everything. You know, um, what we can tell you is this. We went shopping. We spent $70. And I know damn well uh, in Joburg, we would spend $40. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even less. Yeah. Because all you we know. bought was like the basics. We bought some um, some sausages and some eggs for breakfast. Two tubs of mayo. We got two things of mayo. Um, we got some water and some 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 fruit. And it was that was 70 bucks. Did we get anything else? No, and the two the two adapters. Just if y'all come into if y'all come yeah, in the yard yeah. and you're from and you're from Joburg, the adapters that work for the electricity for the plug the plug-in adapters for the phones and whatever you, whatever else you use it for is not the same. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so you're gonna have to get adapters for Tanzania. Yeah, they look like. Um, I don't even, yeah, I don't even have. There's one nothing anymore. I can plug right this second, but it's uh it's like the it's the three straight lines and one and and is it. What it is is one, two straight thingies, and one going like that. What it is is the ones in Joburg are round. The ones that goes into the outlets are round. Mm -hmm. These one here are like squared they're or flat. Or, yeah, they're, they're flat. flat. That's the difference. It's yeah. still the same shape. The triangle is just the shape going into the wall is different. Yeah, just Google it before you come and 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 see if you can grab some. If not. Um, we found we found some at a grocery store, some yeah. converters at a grocery store, and you know they'll come in handy whenever we come back. So, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Um, something that we didn't think of, we just assumed dumbly yeah. that it was going to be the same same type of deal. Um, South Africa is is cheaper. Luxury is cheaper in South Africa. It is very much yeah. so. I would definitely love to talk to Ashley about why she say it's cheap. I mean, she probably would know better than we do because, you know, she was here for two years and yeah. we've been only here for now five days. But she said her call, they said her, she, uh, um, they said that her, they, the, the, the comment said that she said her cost of living went up when she moved here. I Not down. It, I thought it went down. No, she said it went up. You sure? Yeah. Went what? up a lot. When she moved from, moved to SA from Tanzania. Okay. And car, and her cost of living went up. Oh, she said her, her cost of living went up a lot when she moved herself up to SA from... From Tanzania. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Well, I mean, yeah, okay. So I, I misunderstood that. No I thought deal. I thought it was the I thought it was the other way around. I went too far. But I think it's um I think it's I mean, we're also in a very touristy area. So yeah, there's that. We don't know what area she lived in. Again, every every area is different as far as how much things cost. Mm-hmm. So we don't know. So like where we live now in, in Joburg is not a touristy area. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice area, but it's not touristy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, anywho. Uh, right down. Let's see. 38. How long does it take to make the food there? We, did, we didn't really cook anything. All we did was make sausage and eggs. Because once we realized everything was expensive, we were like, nah, man, we started making us some breakfast and we just eat dinner out. Mm-hmm. So we haven't we haven't cooked anything. We'll be cooking when we get back home. To SA, baby. All right. Sanders, Sanders, how are you guys handling the heat? It is hot. It's not as hot as it was in Johannesburg uh, about three weeks ago. It was it's not that hot. You think it is? It's a different type of okay. heat. Yeah. A different type of sun. I don't think it's the same sun out here. <laughs> I think it's a different one. I think it's a different sun and it it just you can feel the weight of the heat. You understand what I'm saying? It's like you walk out the hotel doors and it reminds me of Houston because in Houston nobody came outside in the summertime unless it was absolutely necessary before 4 p.m. And that's how it is here. That's how we've been conducting our schedule. Like we'll just have to find something to do either before 10 and then be back in the room until 4 or before 11 and be back in the room until 4 or we don't leave the room until four. We missed that 10, 11 o'clock uh, situation. Yeah, we went out and, today. We went out today um, <laughs> around two. And Red and I was sweating. Our shirts were sweaty. Soaked. Soaked and wet. And we said, nope, we're going back in. <laughs> and guess what? We was back in the house from like to about 3.30, 4 o'clock and haven't been back out yet. It's just it's, too hot. We, I mean, we hung when we got back to the hotel. Uh, ah, they yeah. were cleaning our room. So we went and we hung out by the very nice pool. Yeah. Um, we were getting served beers by the pool. Like it was a very nice yeah. situation. Like, and I was flying my drone. Yeah, like we were we were chilling. Like so y'all gonna have some drone footage sometime soon. Yeah, it was it was cool. And then we we were supposed to go out again, but then we were like, let's just order something because we got this live at eight o'clock, and you know, and we and took then, a nap. And then after eight o'clock. We got to talk about our upcoming reality show. So, yeah, so yeah. it's that. So, don't y'all get me ready? Y'all get ready for our reality show that we're gonna have coming up real soon. Yeah. So we, so we're 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 in the we're in we're in the room for the rest of the day. But I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's a nice room. Um, Stacy posted a video of, of the hotel room too. Really nice. We got a separate bedroom area. No, I ain't post a video. I thought she posted it. Nope. See. Are you gonna post it? Yeah, I do that. So since he's going to post the video of um, the hotel that we're staying at right now, and um, it's really nice. Like I said, it's got a separate bedroom area, two bathrooms, a little kitchenette. Um, it's got TV in the bedroom and the living room. It's got a little little working area. So it's nice. It's a really nice room. So it's not like we're cramped up in a hotel room and there's nothing to sit on but the bed. So it's like an apartment. It's nice. All right. Easy. Says Tanzania, guys, it's a wonderful place you'll pleasantly enjoy, especially if you don't compare. Let me say Tanzania helped their people. Oh, well, I came twice. Help. Came twice. No, you're um. Yeah, it did. Oh yeah, it did come through twice. Yeah. Let's see, was the service good in the restaurants? Oh yeah. Oh uh, yes, it absolutely. Was. Let's see. I believe Ashley said she lived oh. an hour from Dar. Okay. Yeah. That's why, that's why, flawless. Thank you. We didn't know that. Yeah. Um, Ashley's helper did most of the shopping, and she shopped at the markets and the streets, not the supermarket. See? Yeah. See, y'all. This is we get some good information right here. All yeah, the, Sandra, yes. All this makes more sense now. Yeah. Yes, flawless. A different sign. I don't. It's definitely not the same one. <laughs> Yeah, it's different. Like it's giving Houston, but 
maybe more. Maybe no. a little more. No. He, okay. He, Not at 90 degrees. I don't mean like he's like Houston can get a hundred over a hundred. And, for no reason. And I say people, 100 is 50 Celsius, roughly. Roughly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so if, if if SA people, if y'all can handle 50, 51, 52 Celsius, that's 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 Houston weather, y'all. Yeah. That's it right there. It's super hot. Um, Sandra, as she meant they watching movies here in SA, going out much, much more. Um, eating takeout, going to restaurants. She bought most of the veggies at the market instead of a food lover's market mm. of PNP. Um, let's see. Baba Zulu is in the house. So, Hello. So. Hi, Daddy. So. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. What's up, brother? There is humidity, humidity in Tanzania. We felt it. Yeah. Yeah. Stevie says it's that hot in Texas. Uh yes. Yeah. Yes. You can literally fry an egg on your car as on the hottest days yeah. of summer. And 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 you know, it's it's not just hot for a couple days, it's hot for two months. This is of a plus one plus hundred degree temperatures. And so and fifty you, something. And you yeah, fifty. 54, 55. And listen, man, talk about if you don't, if you don't water the grass in one day, your grass is gonna be dead. Mm -hmm. It's that hot. Mm -hmm. It is that hot. Mm -hmm. Why is he keep no one cares? <laughs> he said that it reminds me of the first time I came to Houston. Yeah, that Houston heat. It's something right. else. Yeah, it is. It's something else. Go to the next um thing, Red, right? next topic. Oh, see, it's Bob, so it's many, it's so many comments. We gotta, we gotta address the okay, comments. Go ahead, go ahead. Because yeah, like you did last time. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. You're right. Anyway, uh, Coldplay says, "Spend my early teenage years in Kiss Are We? Kiss Are We? No, Kiss Are Away. Kiss Are Away? I think that's right. Oh, it's not, not too far from dark. Okay, not too far from dark. The heat is not to be played with. I agree." I miss the place a lot, but super grateful to be in South Africa now. Man, I'm so, even at 90 degrees in South Africa, we would still like walk to the store and it would be hot, but I wouldn't, I felt beat down. <laughs> I felt like I had been carrying the sun with me, on me the whole time. Like it's, hot. it's, it's different. Oh, look, I found one. So this is the plug that I was telling you guys about. Mm -hmm. So you see, it's the same thing. It's just, it's flat. And this is the other side. This is the same exact setup it is in South Africa. It's just flat. Yeah, it's universal. You know, I said universal. Universal. You making up words now? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Also, Ashley kids enjoying McDonald's and other things you might not find in Tanzania. Yeah, 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 that's true. The highest I've experienced in RSA was 38 degrees, and I felt like I was dying. That's nothing. That's nothing. Not, nope, I can't handle the heat. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> Daddy says the humidity is life-threatening. <laughs> so extra, man. <laughs> Where do you think I get it from? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Speedman says, oh my God, 50 degrees Celsius? No way. I think I would die. Now he won't die. He'll just be a little crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Mahu says, uh, welcome, Baba Zulu. Oh my God. Let's see. Ricky says, Uppington in Northern Cape goes up to 45 degrees. I mean, that's high. That's cute. Let's see. D Max says, when I went to Zanzibar just before COVID, it was in June. It was hot, but not the heat that you're describing now. 
Well, I mean, Zanzibar is an island, so it's probably yeah. the weather is a little bit different. And then it's on the water, so it probably mm -hmm. got a nice little breeze. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, and when we were on the water, when we went to um, Cape Town Fish Market, we were sitting right on the, right water, on the water outside. It was nighttime. It was nice and breezy. But once you get away from the beach, it's just the con. I don't know if it's a combination of the concrete or I don't know, but it's hot. It's hot. Hey. All right, we caught up with the comments. Wayne is the last one. Let's get back to business. Okay. Let's see. Um, talk about that. Talk about that. Talk about that. Oh, Samaki Samaki. We didn't talk about Ooh. that. Samaki Samaki is this is this club bar that's very, very nice. Um I don't know how far it is from us right now, but it's like 20 minutes from us. I'm right hoping now. 20 minutes. I'm hoping we can get back there because when he was there two nights ago, we didn't shoot any footage. No, I mean it was kind of, it's kind of dark in there. It's like a uh it's like a bar lounge restaurant. So it has the rooftop, uh, what you call it? Hatch, 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 hatch thatch, thatch, thatch roof, yeah. Is it hatch or thatch? Thatch. Thatch, okay. The thatch roof, you know, it's so it's really, really nice. You know, they had they had like a bunch of pictures of famous black people and a few famous white people. Why they had white people, I don't know. You know, especially they had Elvis Presley. I don't understand why anybody would have Elvis Presley on their wall that's black. Um I mean they probably don't I mean, I don't know. Maybe Elvis Presley been there before. I don't know. I, don't know. I wouldn't put Elvis Presley on my wall, someone paid me for it. I mean, no. Hey. Anyway. Okay, my bad. That's just me, y'all. Anyway. But it was a nice place. Yeah, Drinks were good. Food was good. Food was okay. I'm not gonna say it was good. Food was okay. I feel like the food would have been better. Like we we got this. I, I got this really big basket of um, grilled lamb, um, chicken wings, uh, prawns. What else? Uh, uh, beef. Some kind of lamb. No, lamb. Yeah, I said lamb already. Uh, um, that's a thing. No, yeah. something else. Fries. Yeah. But we had, it was a lot of food. A lot. And I feel like maybe everything wasn't ready at the same time. So, like, some stuff was hot. Some stuff was, like, not quite that hot. And, you know, you got to serve, you know, beef and 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 lamb. Like, like serve the temperature. Hot. Or, mm -hmm. you know, once it cools off, it starts getting, like, that tough texture. So I feel like if next time we'll probably just order the stuff that we liked from the basket and it'll probably be better because it'll be hot. Yeah. Like I said, I hope we go back there again before we leave. We leave on Wednesday. So we might can get back there another day so I can try to shoot some footage so you guys can see how it looks. But it's, it's really, really nice. Um, even, even the Cape Town uh, uh, fish market, I didn't shoot too much uh, footage there because I was just enjoying the view. But I definitely have a video and a picture or two. I'll post that <clears throat> maybe tomorrow, uh, maybe even tonight. I don't know. I'll post that sometime soon. But that place is really, really nice. Very, very nice. And it's right on the water, so it's a real, real nice breeze. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Yeah. That was it. We got no more? I don't think so. Yes, we do. Where? Open up, open up right quick. No. Yeah, we do. So we had a few people in our last in our last chats in our last podcast. I'm sorry, uh, that stuff right there. Oh, we had yeah. a few people. Okay, first of all, let's start with this. I mean, I, you want to take it this? Mm -hmm. So I posted on Facebook uh, yesterday. Might have been today. Today, this this morning. This is what I posted. I'm gonna read it to you guys. Today marks 90 days for us being in Johannesburg, South Africa. Yay! Ninety days a day. So, a friend responded by saying, "Congrats, Stacy and Ray. We expect a lot from you guys. When they took you guys from us to, to Africa, they took the best of the best. Our people to build and create their their gotten their ill gotten and filthy rich, filthy wealth. African Americans built Africa, built America. I'm sorry, y'all. And um, yes." So that was really touching. Wait, and then he said, that was really touching. Then he said, and I've said this before and I'll say it again.
when African Americans return home to Africa, Africa will rule the world again. That was very touching. And guess what? He's right. <laughs> very, very yeah. touching. So I want to tell him thank you for that. You know, you know who you are. Appreciate I mean, that. And you got you gotta if you think about it, like it's true. You know, they took farmers, they took, you know, uh uh carpenters, they, you know, they took skilled laborers. Um, you know, they took people to do jobs that they didn't want to do. You know, and I and my response to him to him was, you know, yes, I said F and right, you know, and then what Red just said, that's what I said. And I said, you know, um, our, our, our females took care of their kids and um, taught them how to wash and all kind of stuff, you know, so. I mean, they didn't really learn how to wash because um, the- The white folks? Yeah, they don't wash their legs and stuff, so. <laughs> they don't wash their feet. They don't wash their legs. They don't wash nothing like down here. Okay. You know? They're like after the crush, it's just like, it's fine. See, That's what I see, heard. I'm, I'm, see, see your daddy, he's playing with me right now. That's what I, I heard. I'm getting, I'm getting to block him forever. Forever. So let's see. Hello says, is it winter uh, in the, in the summer? Hemisphere. Is it June, winter in the southern hemisphere? So it was hot during the winter. Yeah, it's the opposite here than what we're used to. Um, hey, Terrell. My brother, my brother, Payne. What's hey, up? Payne. Love you too, bro. See Coldplay, you you being messy, Coldplay. Yeah, like no, we don't, that's that's not that's not. Uh uh, we're just on vacation. We're on vacation, Coldplay for Mind ninety days. Business. We're on vacation, precisely <laughs> at this time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, Miss Donna. So your daddy, uh, your daddy's playing around. If I rubbed your head three times, Stacey, can I get three wishes? I'm getting wishes first. One, two. How about if I rub your gut? All right, let's go. Hooray. Night, happy 90 days. Thank you. Okay. So one more, one more thing. Huh? Okay. One more thing. Um, so someone else going to read. Um, of the 500,000 Americans that live and work in SA, less than 3% are Afri African Americans. Um, I just want to uh uh give some backstory before you read it. What is the backstory? Okay, the backstory is in the last podcast we was talking about how the, how there's Americans moving to South Africa in a large number uh, every day, and um, I don't know how to pronounce this young this person's name, but Sabusi so Sabusi Sabusi so okay. So he responded to this in the chat. Go ahead. Um, one of the five hundred thousand Americans that work and live in SA, less than three percent are African Americans. I'm assuming that's correct. I haven't done any research, so y'all let me know if you know anything different. Um, I'm not seeing African-American community building business concepts around the door of return. I hope you change the narrative by working with Black South African businesses to create a mutually beneficial, create, to create mutually beneficial businesses that would be something different. Um, yeah, I think that, um, so, I think that the 3% number, I think it might be a little bit misleading just because there's people like us that don't have their visas and we're not accounted for. Yeah. We're not accounted for, for people living there or working there because we're not, we don't have visas to live and work there permanently. So we might not be included in that 500,000 or that 3%. So um, I think this might be a deflated number, you know, at, at least slightly. Um, and I feel like building community around the door of return, I feel like in order for us to build that community for the door of return, I feel like the visa process needs to make it easier for African Americans to come to South Africa before we can, before we can do that. Because right now the visa process is really expensive. Um, and a lot of people who might have um, who might have the means to move here, um, they may just you know not make enough money. You know they can support themselves, but they don't have enough money to pay for this for all of the things that go into the visa process. Um, so I think that making a, a, a easier path 
specifically for African Americans around returning um, would make it easier for people to come. You yes. know what I'm saying? The visa process alone will definitely deflate you from wanting to move here. I mean, y'all, I'm pretty sure you guys heard Great Red a, a few of his podcasts. He's getting he's getting frustrated, mm-hmm. you know, because it's such a hard process to leave the United States. And it will definitely make you not want to do it, make you want to give up because it's so it's so difficult. They want just too much, too much information. And the information they give you online is not all the information that they need. Mm-hmm. You know, so let's just say, and there's only several different places in the United States you can go to get your visa. So once you, once you leave your house and you fly to let's just say uh, DC and you turn in all your information and you go back home, they might call you back and say, Well, you know, you forgot this. Now you gotta fly back to DC. Who has that kind of money and that kind of time when they're working? You know what I'm saying? So the process is really, really difficult. You know, and then if you want to pay a lawyer, that's like fifteen hundred dollars. You know, so it's 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 a process and it and it and it's too hard. And then people and then and the guy also said, you know, change the narrative by working with black South African businesses to create mutually benefit businesses. The thing with that is this, if we're not living here, people are not gonna risk spending that kind of money with a business possibly, and then you never know, you might not ever get your visa. So now you done invested a lot of money, a lot of your money, and you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know when you fly back, like we, when we fly back in on Wednesday, they might not let us back in, who knows? They, it's, you know, it's up to their discretion. You know, but then now, you you know, for us, we then paid a, a, a year for rent. If we had a business, you know, we wouldn't be able to take care of our business because they won't let us in. So, yeah, we're not going to we're not going to invest that kind of money in a business until we know that, you know, everything is good. And I, I, I don't say that. like. So it takes time man. this wasn't this was this is not an overnight process. It takes time. Yeah, I think that I think there needs to be a um, a, a, a a pathway for Black Americans to immigrate to South Africa. It needs to be a pathway specifically for African Americans. You know, just like there's in the states, there's a specific process for people that are coming from desirable countries versus non-desirable countries you know it's a there's a different process you know what i'm saying and 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 i feel like for south africa it's beneficial for us and for south africa to make a path for an easy path an easier path not yeah easier Easier. path like like let us do this stuff let us submit this stuff online you know what i'm saying like, give us a list of, of, of prescribed or approved doctors or whatever that can, that give you exactly what you want. They know exactly how to fill out this paperwork. They have the stamp that you're talking about in your in your uh, uh, in your list of documents that are needed. Like they have the stamp that you need. You know what I'm saying? So it's like make it make it work for us. Make it a little bit easier. Make it clearer. It's just it's a lot. It's a very stressful process. Yeah, it can get discouraging when you're trying to do this and trying to do this. And every time you turn around, you're getting a phone call saying, nah, you need to come back to D.C. or Chicago or wherever. Mm-hmm. It gets discouraging and it gets to the point you're like, man, just F it, man. I'm not even going. Mm-hmm. That, so, yeah, make it a little bit more easier for us. Why do We live in South Africa right now. Why do we have to go to the U.S. and apply to live in South, in South Africa? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why can't we go to Pretoria? Why, 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 why we're here now where the paperwork is being. Pre- uh, it's going to get picked up. They're going to get it from the U.S. and then send it here and then send it back. I don't think they're doing that anymore. They're not doing that anymore? I don't think they're doing okay. that anymore. They're not, okay. A few months back, way, it was. Why can't, we, why can't we do it here? Yeah. Why, why do we have here. to go back to the We're States? here. Why do we have to go? Why do we have to go to the United States and ask them, can we live here? When we already live in here, why can't we just stay here and say, yo, we want to live here. What's up? I want to be your neighbor. What's up? <laughs> um, so Copeland says officially there are 20,000 Americans in South Africa and 100,000 South Africans in the U.S. There's no data on race. 
The 500,000 number is absolute manure. You know, I was thinking the same thing, to be honest, only because, and I'm not saying it's manure, it might be an estimate or something like that, because they didn't source where they got the information from. But what I noticed, because I was doing some research um, on trying to figure out, like, is there a movement, like trying to get some hard numbers, like, is there a movement for people moving to, Black people moving to South Africa? And I wasn't able to find race in any of the immigration data between South Africa and the U.S. So uh, maybe it's an estimate or something. I'm not sure. Um, but if 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 they can, you know, send us an email or something, let us know where you got the information from, it would be helpful. Uh, but I also didn't start find that information. Um, let's see. An insider in home affairs told the Blantons there were over 200,000 white Americans during COVID, COVID. So you know more than the government officials. <laughs> oh, oh, that's directed to the cold flame. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Soldiers got voice. I'm not going to lie. The visa process is, is a deterrent for me as well. It's a time to require the time required to do it, and that is daunting, let alone the flying back and forth. Well, well. Uh, Sandra, well, the thing is this. Now you got us, and we're going to do it. And if, whenever you're ready to make the move, we can definitely help you out with that after we get ours. Because we're going back to the state sometime soon to make that happen. Uh, yeah, y'all tell Sarah for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 tell Uncle Sarah, you'll make it easy for us. What's up, Lena Jackson, brother? What's up, man? South Carolina in the building. I understand you can apply for a long stay visa initially instead of a tourist visa. I believe it's two to four years. Yeah, there's 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 definitely visas that you can apply for that will last for two to four years. You go there's a student visa, there's business visa, and retirement visa. There's a bunch of these visas, but that does not change the fact that it is still a daunting and stressful process. Yeah. Um, let's see. Even during the last uh, USA elections, over two hundred thousand Americans registered to vote in South Africa. Um, According to reporters. According to reporters on Inca. Let's see. Rick Hill, Thailand has something called the elite visa. It's very smooth and efficient. South Africa should copy it. Hmm. <laughs> they said apply for asylum. That, honestly. That guy. Honestly, they should have a African American refugee program. We are escaping the violence and tyranny of our home country. And I'm not exaggerating. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. And I'm not saying that, that there aren't refugees who have it so much worse. Than that. I'm not going to say that. But, but I'm saying that, you know, like that's the reason why we're here. That's part of the reason why we're here. A big part of it, you know? See, Sanders got voice. Dude, that's crazy. Pretoria is just up the road. And that's and that's yeah. and that's what we're saying. We're here right now. Why can't we just go ahead and apply mm -hmm. here? Even if we get turned down, okay, fine. It is what it is. But why can't we apply here? Mm -hmm. Both ways said, how I'm sorry, what how do citizens of another country register to vote in a different country? Um, you can get citizenship. Oh, yeah. Um, lucky. I agree. An easier path for AAs needed in SA, similar to what Ghana has done. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or Sierra Leone. Also, yeah, yeah. Tanzania is a little more pricey than South Africa. Yeah, I mean, we're staying in a touristy area. Um, so I think that's part, that's probably most of the that's reason why. But I will say, even when we're staying in touristy areas in Joburg, it was not this expensive. I mean, think of this. If so you're staying, luxury is more paying, expensive Yeah, so here. think about this. If you're staying in Rosebank or Santon, it's probably Rosebank, Santon, or Melrose Arc, it's probably going to be uh, more expensive and than if you were staying somewhere like in uh, Brackpan or or you know some other area out there you know mm -hmm. you pay the area that you live in that you're staying in mm -hmm. like someone said in the chat you know I actually stayed an hour from dark that's new to us i didn't know that so things probably will be cheaper because mm -hmm. you're staying further from the city mm -hmm. um let's see joy says 
I get your frustration, but it's the same experience for folks trying to move to other countries, especially Western countries that require people to jump through hoops for the tourist visa, forget the work permit. Um, yeah, but I feel like our situation is unique. You know what I'm saying? This is more of a repatriation than an immigration. Right. Um, I feel like our situation is quite a bit different. Um, and because it's so difficult to really tie down like where we came from, um, I feel like there should be a few different avenues that we, we should be able to take. But, you know, who am I? You can vote at the U.S. Embassy. Uh, oh, so they're talking about like U.S. citizens voting in the U.S. election. Okay. Sandra, thank you guys for, thank you guys, grateful for the community. Yes. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Oh, wow. Ooh, shoot. Right there, Leonard Jackson. Okay. Leonard Jackson says, y'all know why black flight is an issue. We are high value, but not treated as such. Yes. yes. Preach. Sorry, I didn't pop the comment up. And Robert Martin says, amen. Yes. I just got voice at African American refugee program. You've heard it here first. <laughs> 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 uh, Joy says, also, the U.S. and its imperial allies influence immigration all over the world, and what they do is followed or imposed on them. SA has visa for Africans, even those locked inside Lesotho. Hmm. Sad. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. What, what visa are you talking about? That's Joy. Joy, please explain that a little bit more. No, they just say that they have a different type of visa for Africans versus people oh, okay. from other from other countries. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, Daddy says that man hates when you agree with me. <laughs> that to, man, he's I'm, my husband. I'm gearing, I'm gearing to delete you. <laughs> South Africans overseas also vote at the RSA embassy. Joy, the needs to overhaul. There needs to be an overhaul of immigration worldwide. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree. When are you visiting Africa's Eden Limpopo province? Very soon. soon. That's gonna very be the, soon. that's gonna be the very next spot. So, very so, very um, soon. I hope you reach out. We hope we can reach out to you whenever we get there. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take a. Uh, what's the name again? I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a mental picture of your name. You're welcome. I just took two of them, and um, I'm gonna reach out to you when we move, when we get there soon, though, very soon. Our emails in our about page, so shoot us an email. Um, if you're there, let us know. If you're available, we'll let you know when we're when we're getting ready to head over. But it's very soon. In a couple of weeks, yeah. <laughs> you weren't supposed to say that part. <laughs> you stay making those ugly faces, looking like your daddy. The people love it. Um. South Africans overseas cast their votes at the RSA embassies worldwide. Let's see. What are some of the differences noticed between SA and Tanzania in terms of food, language, infrastructure? Um, I feel like the food is similar. Um, it's a little bit more spice to it. Um, a little bit more spice. They have a their version of um peri peri sauce. Um but it's not spicy. It's not the same, but it's really it's it's way more spicy. How you pass the person name? Um, Hadoman. Okay, so y'all, you know that SA has uh, some of the best culinary skills in the United in, in the world. That's not here. You're not going to see the green, the green, uh, the rockets, the rockets, and all the that beautiful and stuff. And yeah, it's you know, not, you're not gonna see all of that. It's, it's not, it's not that because there are some restaurants that do have all that fancy stuff, but it's just not as, as much. prominent. Yeah, right, it's not right, as prominent. Right. Yeah. So the language is Swahili. Mm -hmm. They asked me and Red. The, I, we walked in. Um, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Oh, right. uh, Samaki. Oh, Samaki. Yeah. We walked in Samaki, and the lady said, "Do you know Swahili?" I said, "No, ma'am, I don't." She said, "Are you sure?" Yes, I'm very sure. Like if you just know <laughs> a little bit, if you just. If just a little bit, like I mean, they asked, they asked like, me that because, because you know, I look like them. I got asked that too. Because uh, did a did a color person ask you that? Um, the infrastructure. 
<laughs> we talk we talk about the infrastructure a little bit. Go back, uh, check out the beginning after this is over. Check out the beginning. But um, the infrastructure, I feel like we talked about like the traffic situation. It's it's crazy. Like it's it's wild. It's 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 mayhem. But um, mayhem. Wi Fi, like we we have Wi Fi at the hotel. We had Wi Fi at the um, at the Airbnb we were staying at. It was great. Um, the water went out one time, like unexpectedly. Um, electricity went out a few times, but it was it was nothing like low minutes, shedding for a few, for a minutes. few minutes. Yeah, it went out for just a few minutes when we were um, when we were at the Air, at the Air at the Airbnb. But here we haven't had any issues. Usually hotels have generators and stuff. The power doesn't go out. The water doesn't normally go out and stuff like that. So that's probably why we haven't experienced anything like that here. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would say the infrastructure is 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 fine, you know, based on I me mean, because of where we're staying. Um, but you might experience something different depending on where you are. Yeah. But um, I would say, like as far as infrastructure, I I wouldn't say that it's. I would say that it's um, different than than SA, um, but it's not something that would keep me from like coming back or anything like that. Would you or, live, Would you live here? find the right place um yesterday you said no hell no no i wouldn't live here okay but i i mean it so why just now you said that find the right place because i mean like i feel like we haven't seen I, enough I, of it I, to I, say y'all we haven't seen enough to say like for real like i would never live here you I know what i'm saying because we here. might go to zanzibar next time and be like oh my gosh like this might be it no nope, this Burger. might be joe Burger's home I mean, I'm just saying. Anyway, Joy. Cape, Cape Town almost had a chokehold on us. Had, but not. not <laughs> I was still breathing. Almost, though. I was still breathing. We almost cheated on Joe Bird. No, we, we thought better. No, we thought we better of it. No, we did it. <laughs> um, let's see. Joy says, "Hope things work out for y'all soon." Thank, Thank you, Joy. You. Appreciate that. What's up, Miss um, Beverly? Beverly? You know what it is, right? The lady we met and we, we oh, ran into. Yeah, we ran into yeah, in our Melrose Art Casino. Melrose Art. Melrose Art. Yeah, Melrose Art. Um, when I asked some of my drivers about how they feel about African Americans moving to SA, some of them said, Welcome home. Others felt that we make the prices higher because we're buying their properties. Yeah. I've never ran into a person that said anything like that. They was always like, Everything was great. Love you guys. Keep it, you know, you guys keep coming. Yeah, we never ran into anything negative. Um, Let's see. Ryan says, what's your experience on load shedding in South Africa? It sucks. Oh, we, did, but, not, we did, not need, did not need that. What? You're trying to sing. Everyone needed it. No. They didn't know, but they needed it. I'm surprised the numbers ain't just dropped. We got no. we got 83 built people in the building. Please, please hit that like button. That, that means a lot to us. Hit that like button. Go ahead. At the end of the day, my singing is what oh. brings all the boys to the yard. So stop Stop it, okay? Anyway, so about load shedding, you have to um, prepare for it. Like, you have to understand what level, like, is it level one or is it level 372? Because once you get to level 372, like, you're basically going to be, like, just making a fire in your backyard <laughs> to, uh, to cook. But anyway, um, so I would just prepare for it, um, like either move into a building that's got a generator and then load shedding is what? <laughs> or um, if you're yeah. buying a home or you're renting a home, like make sure it has an inverter. Um, it is life saving. Like it's amazing. The only thing you can't do normally is like cook on an electric stove top because it draws a lot of power. You can't run your washer and dryer um, or your oven or AC when it's load shedding, but you'll have lights, you'll have internet, you'll have TV, um, you know, the basic fans. necessities, the, ref the refrigerator fans, yeah. You know, um, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start doing some shorts about, you know, things, I don't think I've been mentioning this to you before. I'm gonna start doing some shorts about, about things you would need to move to SA. You know, like the load shedding you need, you might need, like Red just said, if you have an electric stove, even if you have an inverter, it's going to pull out a lot of power, so you might can't use that if you have an inverter. So it'd be good to have a, a gas stove, you know. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, then you can still cook. You know what I'm saying? Um, the plugs that you need. Um, you know, washcloths if you if you're traveling. Um, it's just so many things that you that you might overlook when you're visiting that you would need. But we did a video on that. But I'm gonna do a whole. But we only did we only did like five things though. There's so much more that you that you might need. Well, I mean, you can never like list everything. That's that's my that's what I'm saying. You just have to learn. And as, you just gotta learn and, it as we, and as we live here, we can share what we learn so other people don't have to go through what we went through. But there's always gonna be something that, that, yeah, yeah, that definitely. you just have gotten used to and you don't think about it anymore, you know. Um, so Robert or or Daddy says, Do you have my room available yet? We already showed you your room, told you it was available. Sent you the address. You have to get here. You mean the room that was sitting up under the tree with the black with the black box? Or well, I'm gonna drop him off at six like o'clock. I was gonna drop him off at six o'clock in the morning on a Monday and come back and get him the next Monday at seven o'clock. He's gonna have a gallon of water and a peanut Just butter. Just one gallon. One gallon of water and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Just one sandwich. I ain't gonna let you do my daddy like that. Okay, you'll be out there with him then. That elite visa in Thailand is roughly 30K. Dang. It's, it's hard. Let's see. Load the load sheds. Now, now that's something different. Because at nighttime, you're trying to drive or you riding oh, with somebody yeah. and there's no lights. Oh that's my horrible. God. I remember that one time we go with our friend Nolita. She was she was going really, really fast and a roundabout came up. Boop, boop. It went up and over, and it was it was horrible. So, it's a lot, huh? Mm -hmm. now, see, I told you to keep up inside the chats. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, y'all, thank you for this. We are we are we are hour and six in. Yes. Thank y'all so much for tuning. In. We got eighty four people in the building. That means it needs to be at least. 84. 84 thumbs up. <laughs> because like I told you in the beginning, if you miss it, automatically when you hit the like button, that makes you a premium member. And our love will shoot directly from the like button into your life. So hit that like button. It's free and it makes you premium. That's it. That's it. Just do it. All right. We love y'all. Peace out. See y'all next so time. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. I'm going to be dropping some shorts. So peace out. Take care. Robert Love Martin, you are not welcome here. Peace.